Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Titan Chain snow tire chains here on our 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, if you guys are looking for a way of giving yourself a pretty good traction control device, these guys are gonna be a go-to for me. One thing I really like about them, very, very easy to install. Titan Chain here has a nice quick connect system. You're not gonna find yourself underneath your vehicle getting in that muck and mire. You can go ahead, stay on the side of your vehicle, and actually get them, put them together. So, we'll break that installation down later. Let's talk about these chains a little bit. You do have a nice durable alloy here that's going to make sure it's going to be holding up for the seasons to come. Now we always suggest just a little bit of maintenance can go a long way of making sure your chains stay workable for the seasons ahead, especially in the off season. Don't forget about them, maintain them, that way they're ready to go the next time you need them. Again, as I mentioned, going to have that easy installation, but one thing that's great about this too, you are having a diamond style pattern on here. What that means, you guys can see at any point my hand's touching this wheel, I'm touching chain. That means we're having constant contact, churning through that snow and that ice with no problem and kind of compare this to ladder style racks the issue with ladder styles you start getting these hills and valleys right now those are great for your stop and start maneuvers right of getting through pulling yourself through going like that however when you start making a left or a right you have to kind of overcome them and you have to end up accelerating just a little bit more to get past those humps however that loses you a little bit on that turning radius so we're not going to have that impact here since we have that constant contact which can be great now one thing also here we do have our square links here today so they're going to be somewhat less aggressive than you might start comparing to like a twisted link or a v-bar so if you find yourself wanting to take your bronco out and start hitting those like uh, snowy woodsy trails I might suggest going ahead and just looking at a v-bar system that's gonna be very very aggressive allowing you to churn through all that snow and that ice and really getting you through those backwoods however those v-bars are very very bad for road driving it can end up a just destroying your driveway that's the one thing very very aggressive option these are gonna be great in line just to go ahead and throw these on in the garage that way you're gonna have no trouble getting to work or through those highway drivings gonna do a great job since they're nice and low-key not gonna be cold pulling up or destroying our driveway, which is gonna be great. Now, we do have it here on the rear wheel. That is because we do have a four x four drivetrain. So we're not gonna be too worried which wheel we throw this on, but that can be a thing just to kind of keep in mind when you guys are viewing which side you wanna throw it on, kind of up to you. Whichever side you think is gonna give you the most traction, of course, is gonna be great. Maybe you got a lot of weight load in the back, that could be a good way of just going ahead and getting that constant contact. We are working on a 255-70R16 tire, and I know these packages can be a little different, so we just are on the base model to go ahead and give you guys a good idea of what wheel we're working on. Well, it's not gonna take us too long to actually get this guy installed. Let's go ahead and see how we can do that together. All right, everybody, for, to begin your installation, what you wanna do is go ahead and set out your chains just like this. What we're looking for here, any kind of kinks or anything that's actually holding up our chain here, sometimes they like to get caught in that little sphere right there, but really just working it out and making sure not have any issues. A lot of times it ends up happening too. This guy can get looped through one of your chains. That's easy to walk off. And the big one, this guy likes to get tossed around in our bag. So all you really gotta do is kind of unwind it, get it in this nice position. The big things we're looking for though, we want our smooth side actually facing us. You guys can see on the other side there, we have those hard points of contact. So we want the smooth side facing us as we're actually gonna be throwing this around our tire and bringing it across. And to do that, we just simply slot it in the back here and bring it around pretty easily. Then we can go ahead and actually start feeding our chain this way, making sure our yellow's towards us and that we're not binding it at all. And there we go. Our little connector is kind of getting caught in the back in there. So that guy, there we go. Now that he's out of the way, we're gonna have no trouble grabbing our two ends here. Kind of fitting them as we go, of course. And then just making our back connection just like that. Really easy to slot that in and that'll start holding it in. Now we can go ahead and bring our chain and start conforming it to our wheel. So we're just simply gonna take this guy like so. I'm gonna start with the furthest chain just to go ahead and see how we're sitting. Now, if we do need to take some slack out, that's usually a good first start for yourself. Now, since this guy is tensioning, we're gonna have a pretty easy time just taking this around, making sure we have a good fit. I'm liking that it's sitting pretty much well in the center of our treads. My tensioner, run it through our bracket on the other side. What I like to do too, give yourself a step up, try to pull it this way a little bit, and then you can start bringing it back. I like to take the slack here too, keep that nice and taut towards the end, and then just start running your connector through this way. 
and then back on itself. What we want to do is try to create as much tension as possible, so I'm going to go ahead and bring it directly back and away. The last step is to make sure that your hook is pointed away from your tire, as we don't want to make contact that could end up puncturing it or scraping it. But it is looking nice and secure here. I'm seeing just a few little spots where we have a little bit of extra uh, slack here. So I think we honestly could go down one more on here and really get this guy tightened up. So let's go ahead and do that and shorten this up for ourselves. Now we are just having a slight little issue here. You can see every now and then I can get a finger or two underneath. I think what's happening is we aren't actually able to get this underneath our tire right now. So what I would suggest, taking this out, letting it rotate, and then re-cinching this down to make sure it's nice and tight and that you're actually conforming to the entirety of your wheel. But this is still doing a great job. I am nice and secure here on my main chains, which is great. This is gonna be staying and working in good order. Overall, I think it's gonna be a nice little way, guys, to just giving yourself a decent chain to go ahead and just have in the back of the vehicle. What's nice too, you have this little traveling case. This becomes great to go ahead and keep these guys stored in when they're not in use. The inside of here, it'll hold up decently well to water. Now, when you go to take them off, they do have grommets at the very bottom. So I'd probably put this somewhere where we're not too worried about that water dripping off. Um, but secondly, probably wait until we're home to get these chains nice and dried. And again, just a little bit of maintenance can go a long way of keeping these guys in working order for the seasons to come. So like that we get a traveling case and all in all i love the system how easy it is to throw on that way we can go ahead and know we can get out of any situation we might be thrown at well guys i think that that's going to do it for our look at the titan chain snow tire chains here on our 2021 ford bronco i'm bobby thank you for watching